So this time I want to quickly talk about how to assign hotkeys to nodes as well as how to create your own menu items and toolbars. Even if you're a person that isn't that much into Python as an artist, I still recommend familiarizing yourself with the few commands required for that as they will help you heaps to streamline your own workflow and once you've got them set up you can just copy paste the stuff and not worry about the rest of the Python world. So let's get started by bringing up the script editor and we'll have a look at the nuke.menu command which is the command that will give you access to the various menus inside of nuke. So we'll type nuke.menu and actually I'm going to run the help command on it to find out more about what it is doing. So you can do this on any command if you get stuck. So I'll execute this and this gives me some help text that tells me that there is a nuke menu, that's the main application menu up here, so I can customize that. There's a properties menu which is the right click menu in any nodes property panel. There is the animation menu which you get when you click one of the animation icons here. Or if you right click into a knob field or if you right click in the curve editor. So that's the animation menu. And then you've got the viewer menu and the node graph menu. So these are the right click menus in the viewer and in the node graph respectively. And on top of that we have the toolbar called nodes which is what gives us access to creating nodes inside of Nuke. And that one is actually stored as a toolbar or pane in the pane submenu and it's called nodes. So this here is actually our toolbar. So I'll drag that back where it belongs. We can create our own toolbars which kind of act like Maya shells but we'll get to that in a second. So all we need to know for now is that this pane or toolbar is called nodes and let's say we want to create a hotkey for the reformat node because that's something I use quite frequently. So we hover the mouse pointer over the menu that it lives in and that's the transform menu and obviously the item is called reformat. So that's all we need to know for now. So I'm going to target that toolbar by going nuke.menu and in quotes I'll type the name of it which is nodes and um, just to be able to work with it a bit better I'm going to assign that to a variable called toolbar and once we've created that we can now act on it by typing toolbar dot add command and that is because assigning a hotkey essentially overrides the command that is executed when you hit this particular item so we'll basically recreate what the reformat item does in the menu but as we go we'll just add a hotkey so first we need to type in the location of what item we want to create or override so we know it lives in the transform menu so we type transform slash followed by the name of the actual menu item and that is simply reformat in this case comma and the second argument again in quotes because it's a string will be the actual command that is supposed to be executed once you choose this particular menu item from the list so we need to create a reformat node so we'll type the command for that and that is simply nuke.create node so that's pretty simple to remember and once again in parentheses and quotes we need to type the class of the node that we want to create in this case it's a reformat node and because I've already started a pair of single quotes here I need to now use double quotes that's sort of a Python thing to not make those two quote types collide so I type in the class of the node I want to create once you close the double quotes you see the syntax highlighting kick in and you close the parentheses and you close the single quote to close this whole second argument. Now this is pretty much doing what the default menu item is doing out of the box so the one addition we want to make is assigning a hotkey so we just go another comma and again in quotes we'll assign the hotkey that we like I'm just going to use control R so I'll type CTRL plus R close those quotes and close the parentheses and execute this command and once it's executed we can now go into the menu and you'll see that control R or command R because I'm on, on a Mac um, has been assigned to the reformat menu item let's make sure it does the right thing so I'm just gonna hit control R on the node graph and that gives me my reformat node 
Now to make sure that this actually persists after you close out of Nuke and start a new session, let's go back to that command and make sure that lives in your menu py. If you don't already have a menu py in your home directory .nuke, then simply save this content by going to the save a script button and navigate to your home directory and go into the .nuke directory, which is a directory nuke automatically creates for you when it starts. And if you don't see a menu.py file, simply type menu and hit save. I'm not going to do it because I've already got one. So what I will do is simply cut the content, load the menu that I already have in here and paste that underneath and then save it back out. Obviously you can do this with any text editor you like. So there. So now this should persist next time I start Nuke. 